is your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. And while most areas are dry this evening, a few locations with some downpours, a couple of flashes of lightning, some rumbles of thunder, but fortunately nothing uh, severe as we take a look at Doppler radar. And at the strips of yellow and red, uh, well, first of all, very kind of small and localized, but that's some heavy rain and some downpours. This green represents a flash flood warning from Worcester to Boston. Boy, getting hit hard this evening, last couple of hours, downpours and a lot of lightning in and around the Boston area. We have a thin line of downpours, which is essentially from uh, Cumberland and just north of Attleboro, out towards probably Gillette Stadium, the Luke uh, Combs concert going on right now, and right into here, some heavy rain and some flashes of lightning. This is tracking off to the east. It'll be arriving in downtown Providence uh, shortly, so well, the streets are still dry, but again, that downpour is probably 15, 30 minutes away. You can see temperatures that are in the upper 60s to lower 70s, 73 in Providence. Still very humid. We have fog along the coastline, but we'll notice a gradual drop in the humidity for this weekend. Bottom line shaping up to be a very nice Saturday and Sunday. So showers and thunder, I would say up until about say 1, 2 o'clock in the morning and then moving offshore. Nice weekend. Sunshine both Saturday and Sunday. Good, uh, good beach weather and nice uh, on the bay as well. And the humidity drops off as well. A little bit on Saturday, but more so Saturday night and especially on Sunday, so it's not as muggy. So we're tracking uh, this blue line right in here. It's a cold front sitting right on top of us. It's the leading edge of some slightly drier air, and it's really the spark that's setting off some of the showers and precipitation right now behind the front behind the front right there. You see drier air in upstate New York, and that's headed our way for the weekend. Lightning activity still pretty active, especially around the Boston area, but this will all be heading offshore shortly. So we'll bring you in closer, walk you through the forecast, starting off now with that line of a few downpours and some rumble with rumbles of thunder. This is about 2 o'clock in the morning, and then overnight while we're sleeping, it's all pushed offshore. This is around 7 o'clock in the morning. Increasing sunshine starting off in the upper 60s, and then during the afternoon, around 1 2 o'clock in the uh, lower 80s. Looking good uh, tomorrow afternoon around 3 o'clock. And then by early evening, around the Taunton Plymouth area, it could be a spot shower, but that's more the exception rather than the rule. We are looking good at 7 o'clock in the evening. Very nice. Saturday night, low humidity and comfortable. So for tomorrow morning, it's increasing sunshine by 11 a.m. It's at 78 and somewhere between about 82 and 84 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Sunshine, fair weather clouds, sunscreen and sunglasses, a must bay forecast. The wind is very light first northwest and locally onshore southwest at 5 to 10 knots. Water temperatures in the lower 70s. Beaches are looking good. Sunny skies, upper 70s to so around 80. And again, that water temp in the lower 70s. So a few more hours worth of some showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. There's your nice weekend. And even into next week, you don't see much in the way of uh, any widespread precipitation. Generally temperatures uh, that are in the 80s with a blend of both clouds and sunshine. So outdoor activities, uh, it is a go. You mentioned, Mike, the, uh, the St. Mary's Feast in Cranston uh, this weekend. Weather looks nice. Fireworks are on Sunday night. I'm going both. Saturday and Sunday. All right, so before that, 4 o'clock in Situate is the Christmas in July show. Why not? It's a USO <laughs> show dedicated to Vietnam War veterans, so it's going to be perfect for that. Oh, good. Then you can go have your doughboy. How's that sound? <laughs> Sausage and peppers. <laughs> yeah, that too. All right, Anthony, thank you.